In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how you can use the Puppet Warp tool in Adobe Illustrator. So, the Puppet Warp tool can be used with all kinds of vector objects to manipulate it a bit. And you can find it below the Free Transform tool, so you keep clicking that one and then you can choose Puppet Warp tool. And unfortunately, it doesn't have a shortcut key. Now, with your Puppet Warp tool selected, I'm going to select my vector object flower here and then with my puppet warp tool as you can see it creates a mesh um, and everything in this mesh is connected with each other and you can put points here which you want to change and it also it already has some points added to it um, but if you then select a point and you move it around as you can see here it manipulates that mesh point where it's located at. And you can play around with going left, right, bottom, top. But if you select a pin um, and you go right on top of it, you can go up, down, left, right. But if you hover a bit next to it, you can see you get that swivel icon. Uh, so you can manipulate it by swiveling it um, and then you can place as many points as you need to the thing here is much like in after effects and also photoshop if you want something to stay really close really in the place it is you can place more pins so then it gets more meshes and it stays more in the same spot but you can also delete meshes by selecting them and then press delete and it influences what you did before. So if you delete all of your pins, your shape will go back to what it was, the way it started. And you can start again or you can make adjustments with just what you want to do. So place a pin and then just on top of it, you can go up, down, left, right and hover besides it and you can swivel it around. Now, you can do this with vector objects, but you can also do it with text. So let's select text and then go back to the Puppet Warp tool. As you can see here, you get that same mesh um, on top of your text. It already has some pins placed in your text, which you can delete if you do not want them there. Uh, you just delete them and you can place new ones And then you can manipulate your text. Um, yeah, you, with text it can get really awkward sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, you can manipulate text. And as you can see now, my W is completely messed up. I'm just going to delete all my puppet pins. And now it's back to the way it was. But also with text, you can use your Puppet Warp tool and try to warp your text. And just place pins where you want pins, delete pins if you don't want them anymore. And if you delete the pins, your text or your vector shape goes back to the way it was. That's a quick tutorial on how you can use the Puppet Warp tool in Adobe Illustrator on vector objects and on text. Let me know in the comments below if you liked the video. Be sure to press the thumbs up button if you did. Press the subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos. I have new videos going live every week. And for now, thank you for watching my video, spending your time with me. Stay creative and I hope to see you in the next one.